Okay, well, I'm hoping mine will be as entertaining as hers. <laughs> so my name is Jackie Todd. I've been a developer for a long time, and I won't say exactly how long, but back when I started out, webmaster was a legitimate job title, and you really were the master. You did it all. You did back end, the front end, the middle end, whatever. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you that it's not all about the technology. I know we're all technologists, we're all developers, but it isn't when it comes to career satisfaction. So going back a step, um, it all started for me a couple years ago when I felt like I'd plateaued in my career. I wasn't learning new things, I wasn't sure where to go in my career. I thought, well, let me just try another tech stack. And this is not a crazy idea, a lot of developers do it. In fact, I'd actually parlayed that strategy pretty successfully a couple times. I have went from being COBOL mainframe, like don't put that, I don't have that on my resume. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then I went to Visual Basic and client server and then I happily jumped onto the web team at the time when ASP and PHP were the only options, so it was great. There were only two books. <laughs> so I made that leap and so I thought, well, you know, I feel like I'm kind of stuck. Let me just try another su suggestion. The problem is nowadays the, the tech stack choices are a little bit wider. There's big data, there's small data, there's front end, there's animations, there's framework one and framework two, and which way do you go? And it's really hard because you're looking for a job and you think, well, that looks cool, what do they use? Oh, well, I don't do that. Well, they look like they're doing something cool too, what did they use? And I don't do that either. So I was really fortunate in that I was able to find a couple jobs in which these are all jobs where I did this work in production. In fact, I have a great hack story for that. Um, my iOS app, I was given three weeks. They said we needed an iOS app. They said that, oh, by the way, it's going to be audited by an outside vendor, which is going to look at it for errors so that they can take the iOS business off of us. So, you know, s regardless, you know, it was, it was quite the stressful time. I'd never done Objective-C, so that was quite interesting. And so I, I met my first objective, I got new stuff, I learned new things, I got, brought myself a great new set of marketable skills, but it really wasn't enough. And the problem is that what really makes you happy in a career is not the technology. I mean, yeah, that's fun, but it's all the other stuff, having an awesome coworker, a product you really believe in, having reasonable work hours. And none of that has to do with the technology. In fact, there's really not that much of a correlation. I mean, using the latest technology may mean that you're a hip, fun, progressive company, or may not. It just could be the latest thing that you're doing. It's really hard finding the right job. I went through a couple jobs. I'm not going to say how many. Um, and the hard thing is that you don't really know what's on the other end if you don't know who these people are, right? You, it sounds great. You show up, and you're not really going to be working with that technology. Or what happened to me was the person I was so excited to work with left a month after I started, so it wasn't quite as exciting as I thought it would be. So I, th I thought about this, and I realized that, you know, when I was thinking about progressing my career, I was spending way too much time on building and improving my tech skills. I didn't get out too much. I mean, I think that's really common for developers, right? We're not the most social bunch. We're really not known for it. Um, and so that's what I spent my time on, and what I should have been focusing on is building a network of interesting people. Because if you meet interesting people, however you define them, you're going to have a much greater chance of finding opportunities that someone who knows someone who knows someone is doing something that's really cool. Or you might have a better chance of meeting somebody who might know that the company that you're thinking of working for is not all it's cracked up to be. So building that network of interesting people is really, really important, even for us developers who don't find it natural in the least. So I just conclude that technology is only one part of the equation. Um, my current job I'm really happy with. I'm a member of a team of two, and we're using old technology and new technology, and I'm hoping we're going to use even newer technology. But the big thing is it feels great because I know that what I do every day makes a huge difference. I'm contributing to the bottom line every day. I'm working with great people. And in the end, that's what really makes it fun. So thank you. Thank you.